this lesson, I will walk you through the video timeline tool so you can start confidently adding music to your video project. To start out, go and open the video file asset you have in Photoshop. By opening up the video file directly, you get to skip the extra steps of having to set up your file and import the video. If you don't have the timeline panel set up, you can get to it by going to Window and then down to Timeline. Next, I'm going to show you some of the key aspects of the timeline tool that will be helpful to know. First, you have the play controls, which will be useful for playing back the video and audio. You have the global volume on and off button. Obviously, for this project, you will want to make sure the volume is enabled. Then you have the gear, which gives you the playback quality for video and allows you to loop the video. I like to check looping so I can rewatch the clip multiple times to check for adjustments. Next, you have the scissors icon, which cuts video and audio clips. And then lastly, you have the crossfade icon, which adds fade transitions to video layers. And then going down to the audio track, we have some options, which will be very useful for our project. But what is an audio track? It's the holder of audio clips. So if you plan to have multiple audio clips in succession, you can have them all in line and one audio track. But if you plan to have audio clips overlap each other, then you will want to add more audio tracks. Now, let's take a look at those audio options. Each track will have a volume button to turn on and off the audio for that specific track. Then you have the music note, which starting at the bottom allows you to delete track, add a new audio track, replace, delete, or duplicate an audio clip, and lastly, to add an audio clip. So let's go ahead and add our music clip using the audio option. First, I'm going to add the ball drop sound. Then I'm going to add the spinning rattle noise sound. Then the urban park and traffic sound clip. Then lastly, I'm going to add the comical upbeat music track. You may be asking yourself, why didn't we just place the music file like we would with an image or video layer? The answer is that if you try to place an audio file, it will be imported into the document as a smart object and you won't be able to make audio adjustments. So you have to use the add audio option through the timeline panel. Pro tip, I always recommend reviewing audio files before importing them to figure out what portion of the audio you will want to use as playback and editing programs can be slow and sound can be distorted. I just walked through the video timeline tool and showed you some techniques and tips for adding your audio to video. 